Tulsa knew ten families in the Pocatello Creek area are looking for answers tonight after losing their dogs. After comparing notes, they're now suspecting their dogs are being targeted. Local News 8's Dennis Valera met with those families today. So, Dennis, why do they think that this is theft? Jay, one of the missing dogs' collars was found in a tree nearby. The three families I spoke to have a history of their dogs disappearing, but they're skeptical the dogs ran away. So some of these prints, they are Konas. Yes. On the Cashmore's driveway, you'll find paw prints of their now missing dog, Kona. They're afraid these prints are the last thing they'll have of him. The dogs are kind of like a family. They're part of the family. Kona often played with the Prey family's dog, Opie, since the Preys lived right next door. Both dogs disappeared yesterday afternoon while both families were home. After finding Kona's collar a couple hours later in a tree, they quickly suspected theft. I don't think Kona would have slipped out of his collar and thrown it in a tree. So I'm absolutely certain this dog was stolen. The Preys are worried about what their dog, Opie, could be going through. I mean, I'd rather the dogs never come back than them being in dog fighting or something like that. You know what? And this is Nana. Megan Ray lost both of her dogs, one this year and another last year. She says the dogs really united her and her neighbors. On the recent disappearances, she says... You feel violated. Kind of how we know each other is through our dogs because we see each other walking and we talk to each other basically because of our dogs. I spoke with Pocatello's animal shelter today and they told me the best way to avoid this kind of situation or to prove what happened is to put a microchip in your dog. Live in the Pocatello newsroom, I'm Dennis Valera. Thanks, Dennis. And for information about the dogs and how to contact their owners, you can go to our website at localnews8.com.